Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? My name is Kelly. It's time for your reading. And wow, this looks like a really good read, guys. It looks like it's kind of a little bit rough on the edges, um, but the whole meat of the read is really good. It is. The first rune we, we pulled here is Kanaz. And Kanaz in reverse is talking about feeling left in the cold. Um, you know, feeling left in the dark. Um, kind of reminds me of the... Uh, Kind of reminds me of the Five of Pentacles. Because that's what Canaz means when it's in reverse. But the good news about it is, like I said, it's rough on the edges. So you got Canaz in reverse here, and then you got Nathis. <laughs> and both edges are kind of rough. But it's, it's all good. It's pretty cool, really. Because Canaz here in reverse this feeling of being left out and not knowing what what the heck uh, that feeling is going away this is in the past this is if not already passed it's it's if it hasn't already passed it, it's going to really soon and then you have Nathis which is right next to it and now Nathis is like a nasty rune too. <laughs> it's not that bad really. Nathis can mean learning too. But Nathis generally means a uh, lack of. Uh, but it also, believe it or not, it means um, to be creative and to use your own. It, it says that you have everything that you need and to use your own creativity to achieve what you want. Okay? So it's not that bad. And that's kind of the way I feel that that is what it means. Uh, especially since I see the Hierophant right here. In reverse. Which by the way is the best position for this card to be in. Yeah. And like I say uh, guys. Uh, with this Kanaz here in reverse. You know. It's, it's talking about, you know, something that is, that is no longer, you know. Oh, I hear my doggy out there barking. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> this is probably the wind. You know, the wind, it, it makes, it, it, it whips up so hard here. It, it, it sounds like the roof is getting ripped off and it scares my little doggy. <laughs> well, he's not really little. He weighs like 90 pounds. But, yeah, it's pretty windy out. I'm surprised the power haven't, hasn't gone out. But, you know, if it does, it's so good. We can still do the reading. <laughs> I got a flashlight right here. Uh, so, anyway, um, you got Menez here in reverse. Menez is talking about isolation, um, you know, hermit mode. And many of us have been doing that, and including myself. Um, and I like to, I like the hermit mode sometimes. Um, but maybe uh, some of us could be maybe doing it too much. Maybe there might be too much hermit mode. Um, like for me, um, I kind of really got a good excuse for number one, there's really nowhere to go. <laughs> I mean, literally nowhere to go. And then, you know, and it's storming outside and, and uh, you know, I don't like sideways wind in my face, you know. I, I don't mind doing that to have to take the doggy out, but that's about as far as I go. Uh, but anyway, that's what that could be talking about. And then you have Baraka. Now, Baraka is uh, female energy. It's very, very positive energy. Um, it, could, it could mean... A new beginning in something because and it's right next to Awas and Awas is the death rune which means you know something has gone away and something is new beginning something here see this this crap here this feeling left out that's going away that's dying but something else is new something new is coming 
And, and I see it right here too. This is very, very powerful. Baraka next to Awas, next to, next to this. This is very, this is transformation. This is um, major spiritual. Um, and I see this here, this with the Hierophant too. You know, yesterday our reading was really, really spiritual. I felt it was. And like today it's kind of spiritual too, but it's a little bit different. Um, you know, uh, the first card that I pulled here was the seven of uh, uh, pentacles and you know I can see that you're working on your money and that's the main thing that you need to be doing Pisces is work on yourself I mean you got the three of pentacles here and this is like you know you're making a plan you're getting a plan together and I see that you spent some time alone you know to meditate and contemplate on this so you know just keep moving forward Pisces because good things are coming and you know this is very very major especially when it's right next here to uh, to Awas so I see you know some really super major changes coming within the next couple of months yes I do and with the Hierophant here too in reverse it's talking about it's talking about um, you know that you have everything that you need and, and you're you're very creative and you can succeed you don't really need uh, assistance you have everything that you need uh, the, the Hierophant is talking about you know even possibly since this is where I get the spirituality from from at Pisces because a lot of us were taught in school a, a bunch of things that were so-called taught to be fact and a lot of us are waking up and seeing that that's bullshit <laughs> and the Hierophant is saying that for so for some of you you know some of your this is talking about some of your belief systems and how maybe some of your belief systems could be possibly changing um, uh, you know because of that because of you know this awakening all right Pisces and you know just make a plan keep stick to your plan keep working on your money and you know wonderful new blessings and new beginnings are really going to be coming in and you have everything you need here and you're very very creative Nathis is talking about using your creativity as well all right all right Pisces so anyway I'm going to pull um, a couple of uh, oracle cards And we're going to get down and see what's going on. I've already shuffled them, by the way. The Ancient Ones. The Ancient Ones. Here, I want to pull another one. The Sun. The Sun. Here, let's pull one more. Ooh, the Corn. The Corn. Wow. Didn't expect that one. Okay, well, let's see what these are talking about. This looks pretty deep. And like I said, you know, with the ancient ones coming up, I kind of feel that this is like spiritual. Like I was talking about earlier with this Hierophant in reverse. You know, I got these doggone ants coming in here, and I don't know where the storm is driving ants in my house. I don't know what the heck to do. I live up up on a higher floor. You wouldn't think that these little teeny black ants would crawl all the way up to the side of the building, you know, stories high and get in here. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Let's see what this says here. The ancient ones are inviting you to reach to the future, to help birth a new destiny for the earth. 
go ahead and find out who you are becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept the invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. Do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew. Become be, because you have unlimited spiritual resources available right now. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's talking about your ancient ancestors, uh, you know, the, the spirit. And, you know, I wonder where your spirit's going to be in 10,000 years. I wonder where, my, where I will be. I mean, I know that uh, my body won't be here, but <laughs> well, it'll be here somewhere, you know, just part of the ground. <laughs> but I don't know. Let's let's look at let's look at number fifty three here. The sun. The sun always sounds good. Let's see what this one says. Have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? It's time to come out of your cave and savor life giving life of our star. The sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling for you to shine your light and add your lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. And if you can't get out and play, Pisces, um, play some music, paint, do something you like. This kind of reminds me of the joyful muse in this deck, in this other deck I got over here. Yeah. And then we have the corn. The corn. You have planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments when you are losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the time to reap the rewards of your hard work and trust where those rewards are financial or kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. Wow. <laughs> What a what an awesome card. That's awesome. Let's pull a moon card. I mean not a moon card, a, an angel card. Let's pull some angel cards. We'll pull the moon cards at the end. Big shout out to all the Pisces family out there, you guys. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, what else is going on, Pisces? Yes. 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 The yes card. So if there's a question that you had, the answer is yes. Remember last time we got the no one? <laughs> uh, but today we got yes. Let's see here. Yes, yes, yes. The answer is yes. Proceed. Go forth. Yep. This is the time to rise up. Fly high. Light up. Express yourself experience and share yes <laughs> awesome well everybody likes that maybe I'll name that maybe I'll name the video yes you know I, I always have such a hard time figuring out what to name the video you know I notice if I name it money everybody wants to watch it then <laughs> oh, that's funny man uh. 
course, we all do want money. So I'm kind of the same way in a way. Vulnerability and freedom. So this card here is talking about your vulnerability. And if you feel a little vulnerable, it's all right. Because it's going to lead you to freedom. And that's what that's talking about. Don't really need to read what that says. Because we pulled that enough times, I already know. And let's pull you a couple moon cards here. A couple moonology cards. Alright, I think it's good. It's time to release negativity. Full Moon and Scorpio. Alright. Step out of your comfort zone, Pisces. Get you one more. Emotions are running high. Super moon. And at the bottom of the deck it says nothing is yet set in stone. So keep working on your money, Pisces. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track. I can guarantee it. All right? All right, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye for now, Pisces.